Abraham was born about 4,000 years ago. He died at the age of 175, supposedly. He was the first of the Hebrew patriarchs. Abraham is known as the father of the three monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. According to the book of Genesis, Abraham left Ur and Mesopotamia because God called him to found a new nation in an unknown land that was later called Canaan. Unable to have a child with his wife Sarah, she told him to find another wife so Abraham would have a heir. After Abraham had a child with his wife's maid servant, Hagar, Sarah also had a child. Sarah's son was named Isaac, and Hagar's son was named Ishmael. Isaac's descendants would later be known as the Christians and the Jews. Ishmael's descendants would later be known as the Muslims. Sarah began to despise Hagar and told Abraham to send Hagar and Ishmael into the desert. Abraham hesitantly did so. While Hagar and Ishmael were searching for water, God made a spring come out of the ground. Abraham built a temple called the Kaaba on this site. Today, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism are some of the most widespread religions. Without Abraham, none of these would exist. Muhammad was born in 570 in Mecca. He was the founder of Islam and the proclaimer of the Quran. Muhammad was also a descendant of Abraham. He was born as a member of the tribe of the Quraysh and the clan of Hashim. By the age of eight, Muhammad had lost his mother, father, and his grandfather, so therefore he was raised by his uncle, Abu Talib. At the age of 25, Muhammad married his employer, a rich woman named Khadija. Together, they had six children, but only one made it to adulthood, Fatima. At the age of 40, Muhammad was praying on the top of Mount Hira when the angel Gabriel appeared in front of him. Gabriel told him to recite in the name of the Lord. At first, he was greatly unsettled, but then Khadija and a Christian monk reassured him that he was, in fact, a prophet. Muhammad continued to receive messages from God. Then God commanded him to preach these beliefs publicly. These ideas were met with a lot of resistance because they said that there was no other God except Allah. Sometime after this boycott, Muhammad made his famous night journey where he was transported to Jerusalem and prayed with Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. From there, Muhammad went to heaven and met God. Around 619, Khadijah and Muhammad's uncle died, and the new leader of the Hashim clan withdrew the clan's protection over Muhammad. Muhammad secured a pledge of protection from Medina and moved there with his followers. This immigration was known as the Hijra. There he began practicing Muslim beliefs. He built a theocratic state and started fighting back against Mecca. Following this, he began having Meccans immigrate to Medina to become Muslim. In 629, Muhammad led a pilgrimage to Mecca in offer of a peace treaty. During this attempt, he was attacked and took down the offer. Shortly after this, in January of 630, he returned to Mecca with 10,000 of his men and took over. After he returned to Medina, he continued to spread Islam. In March of 632, Muhammad made his final pilgrimage to Mecca and gave his last sermon at Mount Afrat. After he came home from Mecca, he became very ill and sadly died June 8, 632, at the age of 62. The Prophet Muhammad created a religion that today makes up 24% of our population. Without Muhammad, Islam would not even exist. Abu Bakr was born in 573. He was the father-in-law of Muhammad. Abu Bakr's daughter Aisha was married to Muhammad. Muhammad chose Abu Bakr as his companion on the journey to Medina, also called the Hijra, in 622. In Medina, he was Muhammad's chief advisor, from 622 to 632. He also conducted the pilgrimage to Mecca in 631. He led the public prayers in Medina during Muhammad's last illness. Abu Bakr became the caliph after Muhammad's death. 
During his caliphate, he suppressed tribal political and religious uprisings known as Rida, political rebellion, thereby bringing Arabia under Muslim control. Under his rule, Muslim conquests of Iraq and Syria began. The first written version of the Quran is said to have been written in Abu Bakr's caliphate. He died of an illness on August 23, 634. Abu Bakr had begun the expansion of Islam and was the first caliph to rule in the Rashidun Caliphate. Umar was born in 586 in Mecca, Arabia. He died on November 3, 644 in Medina, Arabia. Muhammad was married to his daughter Hafsa. He went on the Hijira in 622 and became one of Muhammad's chief advisors. After Muhammad's death, Umar helped reconcile the Medinan Muslims to accept Abu Bakr, who was a Meccan. He followed Abu Bakr as the second caliph in the Rashidun Caliphate. Under his rule, Arab armies conquered Mesopotamia and Syria and began the conquest of Iran and Egypt. Umar transformed the caliphate into a world power. He was the one that made the Islamic calendar. In 644, Umar was attacked by a Persian Christian slave and died from his wounds three days later. On his deathbed, Umar appointed a six-man council that eventually selected Uthman as his successor. Without Umar, the Rashidun Caliphate would not have expanded nearly as much as they did. Uthman was the third caliph to rule after the death of Muhammad. He was born into the rich and powerful Umayyad clan of Mecca. He became the first convert of high social and economic standing. Muhammad valued this and allowed Uthman to marry one of his daughters. When Umar, the second caliph, died, Uthman was elected by a council made by Umar before his death. Uthman established an official version of the Quran. Under Uthman, there were less victories and more rebellions. On June 17, 656, a group of rebels besieged his home and he was killed. Uthman is important in Islamic history because his death marked the beginning of open political and religious conflicts. Ali was the cousin and son-in-law of Muhammad. After Uthman's death, Ali was chosen as the next caliph. Ali's caliphate lasted from 656 to 661. He was the first imam of Shiaism. Ali spent most of his caliphate battling Muawiyah, the governor of Syria and relative of Uthman. Muawiyah had claimed the right to avenge Uthman's death. While fighting Muawiyah, Ali also had to deal with rebels. In 661, he was struck in the back of the head with a poisoned sword and died two days later. Ali is significant in Islamic history because his death marked the end of the Rashidun Caliphate and the beginning of the Umayyad Caliphate. After Ali's death, Muawiyah takes over. These six people represented the beginning of Islam.